Hey everybody, Mark Suddeth here. It's about 6.54 p.m. back in Florida. Brent behind the camera there recording for me so I can drive both hands on the wheel, right? Uh, we're on I-95 heading north. Real quick about our plans first, and then I'm going to talk about Dorian and what's happening with it. Our plans, we're going to go have dinner with Brent's parents up here near Palm Bay. Then we're going to go up to Daytona, get a, a room, he and I, separate rooms of course, get a good night's sleep, and drive all the way back to Wilmington, North Carolina tomorrow. Now you might be wondering, well why the hell didn't you just fly home and get a car there? They don't have these types of big Suburbans at the airport in Wilmington, and the cost involved and everything, it actually turned out to be cheaper for me to fly from San Juan to Miami, rent a vehicle here, drive it for the mission, and bring it back to Jacksonville, Florida. We'll figure all of it out, how I get home from there in a week. Anyway, it just worked out economically, and I get home a day, uh, we'll start heading home a day earlier than we would have had we stayed in Puerto Rico. It's all crazy. Now, uh, we will be setting up equipment in Florida, presumably. We'll get on to all that and talk about that in more detail later. As far as Dorian, a couple things. Obviously, it is intensifying. It's well on its way to becoming a major hurricane at some point. It's over very warm water. The water hasn't been disturbed by previous hurricanes or storms lately. The water temperatures are running a little bit uh, above normal. Uh, high ocean heat content, more moisture in the atmosphere. All signs point to Dorian becoming a very intense hurricane. In terms of the track, we see the Hurricane Center bending it into Florida, the peninsula, for a landfall. A couple things to remember and to think of, I call these keys to the game, in terms of where it ends up. A ridge of high pressure is supposed to build to the north of Dorian and move it back on that westerly course. The stronger that ridge is, the more atmosphere it takes up, the more west Dorian will go, maybe even south of west, and the further down the peninsula uh, it would impact. Miami, possibly. Fort Lauderdale, possibly. West Palm Beach, you know, all the way up to Melbourne. And if it's further down the peninsula and the ridge is strong, it could go across and into the Gulf like Andrew in 1992. That is something to keep in mind. Katrina 2005, something to keep in mind. It's hard to know right now what's going to evolve. NOAA will be flying the Gulf Stream jets in the atmosphere around Dorian to sample that ridge over the coming days. So the computer models should start to lock in on the solution. There is still the possibility that the ridge is not as strong and Dorian turns north close to Florida or after Florida. We just don't know yet. So you need to start preparing now if you haven't done anything already this season in Florida, in the area, the cone of uncertainty. Now's the time. Uh, the clock begins. The clock begins for Brent and myself to get ready for what we're going to do. And the clock begins for you all as well. Gas, food, everything you need to have probably done before now. We know how everybody procrastinates. Uh, you need to start doing that tomorrow if you haven't already. Uh, because this is going to be a very serious, high-impact event for a lot of people in its path here. Possibly two landfalls. Florida Peninsula and then somewhere along the Gulf Coast. Alright? That's what I know for now. Been talking about stuff with Brent. He's been looking stuff up, telling me about it as we've been driving. And there you go. I will do a video discussion like you're used to seeing late tonight once we get to the hotel in Daytona Beach, and then another one in the morning before we leave. All right, that's it for me. I am Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, uh, on I-95, heading back to North Carolina as we get ready for the second phase of the Dorian Field mission. Thanks for watching. I'll have more for you tomorrow.